Actually, I'm, I'm not even going to read this first. This is a. Uh, this is. All right, I'm, I'm, we read everything. I'm, I will. This is. A, well, just read it. What's the big right. deal? Dale Fortunio, no more money problems. Hey, fellas, something I always wondered about. I've worked in the financial industry for quite some time now. Literacy is, is at everyone's fingertips, but 25 years ago, it was hard to fully understand how to save for the future, let alone when you were a 1099 employee. We always hear about financial issues with stars of the past that we would watch on a weekly basis. The interview you had with Ryback about unionization also brought to light how compensation plans or pensions were never available to you guys. It is a sad truth of this business. My question is this. Was there ever a mention of any way you could save and invest your money through some sort of organization legally that an employer would suggest or endorse? Would WCW say, oh, by the way, we have a savings plan from Turner? If nothing was available, what were, what were ways that you knew your colleagues were investing their money and who was very successful at that? Which actually, I didn't read that last part, but that's, that's interesting. There. I wish you all the best. P.S. Honest question, who is better, Van Halen or Van Hagar? Oh, my huh. God. Huh. That's, well, first of all, for asking that last question, we're going to suspend you for for a, a week from the from the mailbag. If you, there there is no, and honestly, if anybody on this show is going to disagree with this, you're going to be suspended too. Okay, yeah. Van Halen is significantly better than Van Hagar. It's not even close. That that's a that's a stupid question. All right, I, th I think that could be generational because you know what. Like Van Van Hager was like when I was a kid and always on MTV, so that was my Van Halen at first. And then then you realize, oh no, there was a different. Okay, who do, so who did you like more? He's you asking that. I like the I like the original better. Yeah, but of I do course. like way Hager. better. I do like way Hager. better. It's not even like way better. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, like, first of all, first of all, uh, Sammy Hager, who I also liked individually and with Van Halen, but he didn't even have the charisma or the front man that you know david lee roth had here's a perfect comparison it's like trying to compare kamala to the botswana beast all right it's not <laughs> even it's not or to kamala right? too wait a minute did he ever meet him <laughs> um <laughs> it's no, like no, the no. short fat guy yeah well, they, they, the WCW didn't give us any financials so we're all independent contractors and stuff but uh, i will say this is the steiners are very good at investing their money they were you know always who like, else was good Nash. Oh, Nash. Yeah, of course, Nash. But and I'm like, to this no, day. I, I, I'm, I'm giving some names of people that, that people yeah. probably wouldn't think yeah. who was very good, yeah, but, but they right. were loaded. The Steiners, yeah. Scott's investments, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of them has a Shoney's, right, Scott? Yeah. Oh, they, well, they, they've always just been loaded, you know. That's He's always been very good with, you know, they've always been very, yeah. they've always been very good, savvy, street smart with their money, you know? Right. Bradshaw. Bradshaw's the guy that, you know, he did the yeah, Bradshaw. TV shows and wrote a book and all that. Yeah. All right. The next one is from um, who we got here next. Buttons. Subject is money. Yeah, buttons. <laughs> Subject is money in the bank winners. Greetings, Conan, Disco, and Joe. What do you guys think about the participants in this year's Money in the Bank matches? Who do you think should go over? To me, if LA Knight and Zelina don't go over, I think they're missing a great opportunity to vault their careers into superstar levels. Thank you for your insight. Joe. Buttons. Yeah. Wait. Do you finish? Buttons is a first Who's time in the money emailer. In the bank? Long time, to, but bro, I, honestly, you look at. I'm, I'm just going to tell you this. I if you, when you look at the names, okay, there's going to be one guy that is going to be the obvious winner. Okay, right. so read the names, show. So here's the men's. It's Ricochet, Nakamura, L.A. Knight, Santos Escobar, Butch, and Damian Priest. All right, who do you think is like the, the, the obvious name that sticks out right there for for? I think it's going to be Priest, but I don't know. I think I think it's. I think I it's your L.A. Knight all I day. You, I know. I was going to say, I think you're referring to Knight. Yeah, but I think Priest is going, it's Priest is well, going to win, I think. I think Bro, it's Damien or, or L.A. Knight. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I, I would bet that the four. Hey, what the It's because, like, it's a perfect spot for him to always, like, interrupt stuff and walk out with that case and cut promo. Oh, sure. No, I, I agree <laughs> with that. Yeah. It's, like, the perfect spot for him. He wins that if he wins that suitcase, you know? But it's the reason I, I say too. priest is because I think they're higher on him. You know, he's main evented the pay per view with Bad Bunny. He's main. Yeah, but he doesn't recently. need the money in the bank suitcase. No, he doesn't. Yeah, right. Right, yeah. It would be That's better true. for a character like Ellie Knight for sure. Right. You Actually, care, you but, 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 but I will. I will say this. I will say this. I just just a storyline just popped up in the back of my mind right now, and I'm wondering if they're starting some tension between Priest and Balor. Looks and like Priest wins mm -hmm. the money in the bank, and it culminates with Balor screwing Priest out of his cash in when he tries to yeah. do it. Maybe that would if they're 
looking at that that angle. Plus two, but by the way, Conan, did you watch the show this week? But did you watch SmackDown? I watched SmackDown, yes. They're definitely doing something with the Kevin Owens being off the rails. Right. Like they're yeah, there's this so like that thing and I'm wondering if it's gonna end up with him getting recruited by the bloodline. Eventually, like, I don't know. I don't know. They're, they're definitely doing something that's going to call, that's going to lead to something here with, with that. Okay, but uh, all right. Um, yeah, but I, def, I definitely think LA. I, but, well, if I'm if I'm the writing team there, I'm booking that show. I, LA Knight, I have to push him. It's a good spot to push the guy. You know, give him yeah, the money. I, I think it's LA Knight or Damien. Yeah. Who, about the girls? Who who is in the girls, Joe? All right. So in the women's uh, Money in the Bank, and this is uh, July first in London. Is uh, Zelina Vega, Becky Lynch, Zoe Stark, Bailey, uh, EO Sky, and then the, there's one more to be determined. Next is from. It's next got is it. From, well, well, who do you think? Uh, Conan wants to. I you, could. I couldn't care less about the woman's one. What do you think, Conan? Yes. I don't know. I think maybe Bailey. I'm not even paying attention to that until they start up in the ante with the with the character development on the on the woman's side i'm just not interested in anything they're doing right now to be honest i mean i'd probably say vega too but charlotte's back so i'm probably interested to start seeing what, what she's going to do uh next is from theodore roberts the subject is demolition of road warriors being that disco watched 13 of rest 13 hours of wrestling every saturday back in the day i was wondering what his opinion on the tag team demolition billy dean barry darso they dominated Dominated the tag team belts in WWE for a good two to three years and were super popular, but were pushed down the card and ultimately disappeared after Road Warriors showed up. Do you think? Do you guys think this was a mistake of Vince's part to push a tag team known from opposing promotions over his own creation? Also, have you guys had any dealings with Darso or Edie in or out of the ring, and were you Demolition fans? Thanks, and that's from Teddy Roberts. P. Let me ask you a question. Me. Go ahead. Uh, oh, God. Conan, all right. Should I read this? I have yeah. to. I, our thing on the show is to read everything, right? Well, this right. guy's gonna, poor guy's going to be suspended. I already wrote his name down. P.S. I watched my first two Get By Goes this weekend, and those guys really did a great job. Went back to the other shows, and I'll await my suspensions as I say this. These guys are very funny. Oh, teddy, Teddy. I got on. I, I uh, yeah. You see, I had to admonish Joe this week uh, for for his get my go selection this week because uh, we're we we've elected to ignore, but Joe decided to. I don't even know why you decided to do that, but like you know, you did what you did. Thank yeah. God I haven't gotten to anything from him yet. So <laughs> because nobody I watches did. your show. Well, nobody watches your show. Oh, you yeah, did. Yeah, I did. Well, then, <laughs> so, was, why, so why would you do that? I mean, like that, that's a, well, why did you do that? <laughs> I was responding to things he said before, but then but, he, but, but I guess it's done. Just ignore the guy. Yeah. Go. I mean, like, come on. Like, uh, all right. Um, oh, by the way, I spent a lot of time with, with uh, Bill Eady driving around shows. Very good. Uh, very, so. very. He is the two smartest guys I've met. Like, like I high IQ guys in this business that, that, that I've known over the years have been. Um, I think Conan's got a very high IQ. Luger's a very high IQ guy. Nash is a very high IQ guy, and Bill Eady is a very high IQ guy, very intelligent. And the funniest thing about him was, is, is he was a, uh, he had kind of like a, a rough, not rough upbringing, but he was kind of like a, like a thumb breaker for a while, you right. know, like like money collector for guys. <laughs> like, and he would tell me stories like how they would intimidate guys, you know, like if like people owed owe their guy money, like they would, he would literally, like him and like another guy, that they're big guys, right? They right. would just they would park outside the guy who's they owed money to's house. Just sit when the guy would leave, they'd follow him. <laughs> park near him when the guy would go to the store, just and, and just like just just harass guys. You know, like when you were when you were trying to collect, you know, they, they wouldn't beat people up because you can't. But you would just try to intimidate them into, into giving up, like the the, the the threat right. of like maybe something's gonna happen. <laughs> so they, he always had fascinating stories, but a very very bright guy. I, I always he was a school teacher too. So he was very well educated, very smart, very good to drive, f fun drive with, you know, great conversations. So I, 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 I was a big fan of his. I, I, I consider him a friend. You know, like we were very friendly with each other when, when we traveled together. So, um, anything uh, with Darso because he was around. I don't. I didn't really just we WCW, but he, there was no real interaction or anything. You know. Um, I'm not even. I'm not even going to read this next one. Okay, because this guy, I, I, this, I just want to ignore this. You know, I, people, knew, I knew this was coming. Yeah, so I'm, like, I'm just, 
I just don't get people talking about stuff that Billy's saying on his shows. And it's like I don't. I'm just ignoring it. I don't even want to. I don't want to read this. You know, it's like we're trying to ignore the guy. It's like he's 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 basically just, he's, you know, he's just under, he's gone off the rails. He's just like you know, it's just the guy, guy's got. Yeah, he's having a, a mental. Is he, the mental the guys, midget is having a mental breakdown because people write to me. Some guy was like, "Here, here's what Billy said about you," and he sent me right. a video, right? And I didn't even look at it. I, I don't give a right. I don't give it's a like, bro. The, guy, I the mean, guys. That, narcissistic personality disorder. He's trying to get back. Everybody like he got embarrassed because we kicked him off the show. And he did, not this only is that, his way bro. of like you know trying to like you know, whatever. Right. Besides being the, that his mom should have swallowed, bro. <laughs> he was universally disliked on this show, and he thinks it was like ninety to ten percent. Like, right. <laughs> right. Why would we go out of? Why right. would we? If we're defending you, why are we going out of our way? That only read why, people that are burying you. Why would we use them? Is is a better right. question. Exactly. <laughs> it's like he don't understand right, that. Right. 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 He don't understand that. You know, so. All right. right. Next one's yeah. some rain or shine. And the subject is damage control money in the bank. Hey, K100, everyone in the IWC expects EOS guy to turn on Bailey in this match and win. We expect mm -hmm. a breakup because of Kai's injury. Do you think Bailey must turn on EO in order to get her over? Without damage control, EOS guy is just Japanese girl number three. Maybe if Bailey gets it and catches catches in, then she can lose it to, thanks to EO. What do you think? Mm -hmm. P.S. Disco and Conan versus Crazy Eddie and Hugie versus Vince Russo and Jeff Lane in a triangle ladder match. Okay, suspend Conan, this guy. Yeah, Frank Frank Shine. Shine. <laughs> Conan and D.I. are about to get the victory until Mike Durbin makes the interference, thus causing Hugie to pull a contract, pull out a contract that said Conan must appear on his show for over one hour, no matter what. And they put some capital letters. Book it now. Does that guy part of the fit? Let me ask you a question, Joe. Mm -hmm. Is this guy that just sent this email in, Rain or Shine, is he in the Discord? I've never uh, heard of him, no. I mean, I've seen him in the, the mailbag, but I don't know. Is he on your Facebook page? Is he on the Facebook page? I don't know. I don't know him, no. All right. Well, we're going to start under suspending. Another name. If these people are on, on Discord or Facebook, we might be suspending them from that, too. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take executive powers beyond the uh, the scope of what, what we pre previously have done. <laughs> Speaking of suspensions, Jared Avia. Uh, would the you like to see um, – I, I thought you guys might enjoy this. Uh, at the latest NWA show, Mike Durbin was in the front row, and a, a wrestler physically appears, physically appears to threaten him. If yeah, which one that. was this? I saw that on Twitter. Uh, let me see this. Want to play it? You got it, Joe? Yeah. I don't even probably like this spot. Look, look at him. I'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> this guy does not – I think Mike Mike said this to is me, this is the, okay this is what the people from Get My Go do Joe uh, Cody they, <laughs> they go saying, they go the funny. front row of wrestling shows and do this Let's watch this well, Alonso has no respect for anyone he's not very well liked amongst the uh, the NWA locker room he eats alone he sits alone he changes alone for the fans and right in the face of our fans here in the front row he goes out of his way to not make friends and I don't think I, I should say I don't think. Well, Who is the Charles Oliveira guy? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Is he wearing a shirt that says Mike Durbin? Go back. Yes, he has a blue yeah, shirt. Oh, my God. What a mark. <laughs> That's funny. Unbelievable. 